morning, everybody. How we doing today? Got a fantastic show lined up for y'all today. Um, I partnered up with Mr. Shane Gerard, good friend of mine who I, I coach baseball with. And uh, he runs a, a veteran organization called Heroes on the Water, uh, Powderfish Hill. And what he does is he takes out uh, disabled veterans and uh, you go out here, you fish, it's uh, kayak fishing. Right, so he does some kayak fishing. I've been a couple times and enjoyed the hell out of it. All right, so what we're doing today is we're going to uh, catch some fish, we're gonna clean some fish, we're gonna cook some fish, and I'll let you know how Captain Kobe does it. Right, all right, so I'm gonna turn this over to Mr. Shane right now. Also, it's, uh, it's not just for disabled veterans, it's for all veterans, peace time, okay. part time veterans. Great. Yeah, fantastic. Um, you can contact me at heroesonthewater.org uh, on our website or you can get on Heroes on the Water slash Lafayette on Facebook, or you can contact me on my, on my cell phone, 337-280-4026. That's Heroes on the Water. Uh, I take all veterans out, kayak fishing, and also their families. Uh, give me a call, contact me on, on the internet or on Facebook. Thank you. All right, well, listen, you might get lucky and have Captain Cobra over here frying fish for you that day anyway, right? So let's get down to business. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, Shane get some things prepped off for us over here. We're gonna cut some onions, some potatoes, get ready to fry this fish, right? Stay tuned. All right, while Shane's cleaning these fish, we're gonna go cut some potatoes and some onions. everybody listen today I'm gonna to introduce y'all to some onion rings that we use or that we cook that have zero batter you just fry them this way you what you want to do is cut them real thin I uh I took my wife's little onion cutter out here today so I'm gonna show you how this goes so you just pretty much grab this This is pretty much what you get. They're real thin, and when you fry these, they almost look like they have a little batter on them, but they won't. But let me tell you something, they are absolutely fantastic. So hang tight, we get these onions cut up, we get them fried just a minute. Today we're gonna have some homemade french fries. They're my absolute favorite. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, I keep the skin on. We just kind of cut them the simple way right here and, and get them ready to go. Almost like some homemade steak fries. I don't like them too big, but I don't like them too small either, right? So we'll get to chopping these potatoes right here. My homemade french fries. We'll be frying here in just a minute. Y'all stay tuned. Alright everybody, now that we got our fish clean, uh, quite a feat as you can tell, we got quite a bit of fish to clean right here, we cleaned them all. It took a long time. Yeah, a long time, I feel like we've been doing that all day, all man. Day, almost. Anyway, so... What we're gonna do right here is we're gonna season up our fish and I'm gonna show you how Captain Kobe does his fish. We all know that uh, I love my mustard. We're gonna mustard this fish up. I'm gonna get uh, Shane in here to help me out right there. And then after that, we're gonna season up real well uh, with Captain Kobe's Cajun seasoning, all right? All right, Shane. Get it all mixed up, bro. Spread it out a little bit. This is what this is what makes it happen. Dude. Trust me. Don't be scared to season it. We got a lot of fish right here. Alright? And mix that up real good. Okay, listen. Now that we got our fish seasoned up, ready to go, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our batter or our our uh, our flour and cornmeal mix up that what we what we're gonna fry in and I'm gonna tell you how to do mine. And I've been working on this for some quite some time. I have tried a bunch of different kind of recipes, and uh, 
the way I'm gonna teach you right here is the way that I find it best to do, okay? So what we wanna do is we're gonna grab one, do a heaping cup of flour right here, right? And then same thing here. cornmeal as well okay we're gonna get that mixed together real well now what we're gonna do right here is I'm gonna add a little bit of Captain Colby's to it but I don't want to add too much for the simple reason that number one we have our fish seasoned already and if you put too much seasoning in your batter right here what happens is all the other seasonings burn out or they cook out and the only thing that's really left is salt so what you end up with is some very very salty fish Especially after you season them here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something real simple. We're gonna do about a quarter cup of Captain Colby's. That's all you need. Okay. And then what we're gonna do after that, we're gonna season our fish on top. Once we take them out that grease, when it's still hot, we're gonna layer it with some Captain Colby on top. It comes out with a, with a fantastic blend of seasoning. Be some of the best fish you ever had. Okay. But you know what makes the magic happen? It's the Captain Colby's, trust me. That's what makes the magic happen. All right, now that we got everything mixed, got our, our fish seasoned real well, uh, I'm gonna get Shane to go ahead and drop some of that in our mix right here. And we got our fancy little flipper right here that makes our life way easier, right? Used to do it old paper bag kind of way. Though. Yeah. 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 Now nah, we all fancy, man. You don't have to do that. Oh. See, let me show you. Oh. Just go like this. Oh, man. And then like this. Huh? And then you flip it on top. And look at that. Your hand don't even got to get full of batter. Fancy, baby. See that? Look at that. That or this? Which one you want? Which hands you want? Right? Throw it away yeah, from throw it away. Yeah. I'll tell you away from it. Let this cook good. Alright. Listen, this is what I want to show y'all right here. Uh come on get come on get a little close up in here. What I want to show you is right here. See this little onion ring is cooked down right here. We cut them real thin. I put it in here to test the grease, but it gets so crispy and so crunch, uh, crunchy. It is phenomenal, trust me. So we're gonna put these in here. I'm gonna let Shane cook these right here. We're gonna put these in here. You can pick this up on all the grease. Okay. Might be a little hot tested for me. See if this is hot. Oh yeah, it's hot, yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna get us, we're gonna get us a, a pot holder and we'll be right back. What we're gonna do is just gonna dump this in here. Careful, if I want to kick back up on you. But let's, these are my favorite onion rings. No battle. All right, let them have it, man. Beautiful. Have to come out, come out a little bit with you. There you go. Hold on to that for a sec. While we're out here cooking, um, one of our fishermen here today is uh, Ken Chasson. He also happens to be my little brother, right? Army veteran, came down here today, meet with us, cook with us, fish with us a little bit. So uh, tell him a little bit about yourself, tell him what you did on. Ken Chasson, man, I joined the Army in 99, and I was uh, joined as a combat engineer. Okay. Best MOS in the world. I think a few people have something to say about that, but hey, it's not about them, it's about me. <laughs> there you go, so you got some fish today? Yeah. Dude. Oh, 
brought you a mini piece. Did you have a good time? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it absolutely. is a good time. All that right. means we gotta eat, dude. Huh. Well, we just cleaned all that fish and uh, we're about to throw it on here pretty soon. Absolutely. So, uh, absolutely. thank you for coming out today, man. We appreciate oh, you, it. Dude, dude. The Tell them where you're from, man. The area is good. The fishing was great. The camp's nice. Well, he's originally from Louisiana, but he lives in Clarksville, Tennessee, right? So came down to Tennessee, see yeah. family a little bit. Yeah. We got him in on a little fish. Right. right. Good job. Well. All right, come on, get a shot in right here. All right, see how this looks? This is it. This is fantastic. This yeah. is almost perfect. All right. So I'm going to get this going in just a second and pull him out. Take these out right here too. When you have the right tools, you need the right tools for the right for the job. Now you can see right here, our fish is fried, okay? I'm gonna dump this in here to make our fish over the top. You got the cold, right? I'm season this good. And it's best to get it right out of the grease. Well, you gotta sit a little grease on there and let it sit on it. Fantastic, trust me. Captain Kobe, change your season, change your life. Right, Shane? You're right. right. Right, everybody. We got our uh, fried fish, our potatoes, and our uh, crispy onion rings. How's the onion rings, guys? Phenomenal. Pretty good. I love this. Too. Fried fish is good. Everything is good. Look, enjoy being with all these veterans today, fishing, having a good time. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for being out here. Thank y'all for being on the show. I appreciate it. Nice right. day. Awesome food. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. Listen, thank y'all for watching. See y'all in the kitchen.